Hey y'all, so this is everything for the DIY stove topper. Um, I went to Lowe's, pick up everything. I went by some measurements that I saw somebody um, use um, on another YouTube video, but that was just for the boards. I actually measured my um, stove before I got them cut by the guys at Lowe's. Okay, so what I purchased was two one by six by six foot boards that were able to be cut into these fours. And then I purchased one one by three by six foot um, board and it is it turned into these two here. So my stove is 29 inches long. So I got them to cut it 29 inches um, for each board. And I did have some small pieces left over. And then the front to end is about 22, 24 inches. So this right here, these pieces are about 23 inches here. Um, <clears throat> so I cut that, so I got those cut. So I thought I wanted to use Gorilla Glue, but um, I figured out that it's a 24 hour like dry time. So we're not gonna use that. I ended up getting some whiskers instead. So that's why I have my electric drill there. Then we are going to put this on top of it. I wanted the mat finish but they were out so I just got that clear set and I'm just gonna do one coat of it um, I'm gonna paint it in this chalky white and then I'm gonna put these on the bottom um, of the board to make sure they don't scratch up my so and then these are the two handles that I got so we are going to get started so at this point here I have lined up my boards I am going to start by screwing in four screws to each side to secure the board together Eight screws total to make sure all the wood is connected. Now we are going to spray paint. Now I'm going to make me a stencil by using my Cricut program. You can buy different stencils from like Dollar Tree or Walmart, um, but I wanted to make something a little more personable, so I kind of customized it to my liking. Okay y'all, so spray painting that stencil made a mess. So you will see me going back and try to spray paint it over um, the dark spots with the chalk white paint just to kind of make them a little more subtle. So this is the completed um, stove top. So of course, like I told y'all, this is my first time ever making one of these. So I did learn some things while I was making it. First thing is to make sure you screw your screws in for the sides on the back. Um, another thing is that I spray painted this, which calls for mist of the spray paint to go all of the boards so I had to go back and try to um, spray over those dark spots but you still see I have some either way it goes I'm still pleased with it um, so that was one of the things I'll probably my mom wants me to make her one so what I'll do with hers is actually paint it um, paint the stencil instead of um, spray painting it but other than that oh and make sure if I see any holes, I'll try to choose the opposite side that doesn't have all the holes, um, which these right here are just a little deeper than the other side was. 
but that's okay. Um, but other than that, those were like the four things I noticed while I was making this. Um, but that's just part of doing a DIY. You live, you learn. But at the end of the day, I do love the way that it turned out. Hope that you all liked this video.